Three, two, one. F this is Andrew Bocher with GY6 Vids. In the face, self-explanatory, I'm shooting ballistic dummy heads in the face at somewhat point blank range or further distances in the coming videos that will be coming down the road. Stay tuned. This one is from Ballistic Dummy Lab. They're building these dummies as close as possible to an actual human body. The skin elasticity is very similar to actual human skin. It has the same thickness between the skull itself and the outside of the head. The skull and the bone that's in their dummies, they're very similar to the same tensile strength of a normal bone. They make cool stuff, that's the details. If you're looking to get into it and have a good party favor or something fun for your friends to go out shooting on the shooting range, it's not cheap, I'm telling you that right now, it's because you're getting high quality product. But if you want to get something, click the link in the description and it lets them know that I'm doing my job promoting their products because they are giving me a little bit of a discount on these heads. Not a lot, but it is a discount and money saved is money earned and it goes back into producing videos. So those are the details about old Casually Carl's face. If you guys know of my other ballistics dummy torso, it's called Casually Carl that I blast and shoot and destroy and have blown up and just completely demolished over the years, set it on fire with a flamethrower. Um, there's tons of stuff I've done with Casually Carl, but now I have a version of his head, so it's going to be fun. But it won't be there very long because we have a double barrel 12 gauge stagecoach gun at point blank range, pulling both barrels at the exact same time. If I can get both triggers to pull at the exact same time, it's kind of a tricky process sometimes but I am shooting the PDX-1 Winchester 12 gauge slug round. These are a segmenting slug that have buckshot behind it as well. So this should look very interesting. I don't think we're gonna see a lot of those details because we're so close. It's not flying through the air at a long distance. It'll just be probably a fireball and then this head turning into vaporized red mist and goo. So all that said, let's put the shells in the shotgun and start blasting. But you know, with this shotgun being so close, a lot of power, bone fragments could be fragmentation and I'm not looking to get myself doused and safety first, be smart, think ahead. Don't blow your face off, it's never a good thing. Couldn't find my normal face shield, so my welding helmet will have to do. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Shotgun open, one shell in, second shell in. All right, safety off, both triggers. Three, oh wait. Geez, what am I doing? I'm gonna put the safety back on. Ah, there you go. Now I'm using my brain power. Not a lot of it, but maybe it'll work. All right, good enough. Let's do some blasting. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, f Well. That sucks. <laughs> Went down to trigger my high-speed camera. The face mask fell down, hit the computer, and I couldn't see where the key was, and I missed my high-speed. That was an expensive mistake. Well, I had another one. I was going to do another video, but looks like I'm doing another head. <sighs> that was dumb. Okay. Well, he doesn't have a head, so we know what to expect. But not only was that an expensive shotgun shells, but a very expensive head. <sighs> Bummer. Okay. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Shit. Now let's see if we can do a second head and capture it before the sun goes down and we lose light bounce and good lighting. Great. You know what? That'll do. I like it. So luckily enough, I looked at the shield I was trying to wear before, and there's not a single drop of blood or any nicks or any marks like that whatsoever. So I feel very confident that the fragmentation is going to go out and up and away, and we'll be just fine. Here we go. Three, two, one.
I dropped down and captured the high speed in the nick of time. Trying to capture high speed after the fact. So you got to trigger the camera to capture the high speed footage. Uh, if you guys ever follow any high speed channels, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You got to trigger it and there's a timing to it. My camera only picks up five seconds. By the time I shoot, I have to go to the computer and click on this small little icon. I wish it was bigger, small icon to trigger the camera to capture what you just saw. That's fun to deal with on occasion. This is terrifying to think about. You don't have much left. You have a little bit back here. I can't wait for this high speed to render. You guys are lucky, you get to watch the high speed instantaneously. I gotta sit here and wait for this to render out before I can see what the heck happened. But judging by that, there's gonna be a lot of explosive material going up and about that direction. And now I've used two heads for one video. Cha-ching, 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 cha-ching. Just might as well just throw away money. Just throw it up on the screen. Money, make it rain, is what it is. Roll the punches, right? That was just a 12 gauge coach gun at point blank range both barrels with 12 gauge slug home defense rounds. Needless to say, you're not gonna survive. <laughs> uh, well, I found the head, or brain that is. <coughs> Whoa, could you imagine if that was, if that was real? Mm. Special thanks to my patrons over at patreon.com forward slash GY6, YouTube pays next to nothing anymore when it comes to YouTube advertising for gun channel and gun content. And Patreon helps a ton. Not everyone can do it, but I definitely appreciate those who do. The money that comes in from that goes directly back into making content. And it goes back into funding videos being made. It takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of money. I've already said this. Just big shout out to you guys that are on there. It means the world to me. I can't say it enough. Thank you so much. This is Andrew Boach with GY6 Vids. I'll see you guys next time. Later.